Hello, hi, it's Ida here this time. Um, I'm very, very happy and excited to do the April reading uh, for the um, 2014 here. Um, do you notice that um, you know three months is over already? So um, how's your life and how is everything going on? Into um, you know, it, it, well, I'm sure everything is going into a better and better way, and everything is going to the direction that you want. And um, you know, you can see my hair is growing longer and longer, and that is very funny, right? <laughs> I welcome to give me some feedback about my hair. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so um, April is a special month for a lot of people, especially like me. Uh, it's my birthday. Yeah. <laughs> um, so a lot of things um, at the same time, um, April is the month of, you know, Easter. A lot of people will talk about Easter holidays, Easter breaks and banks holiday and all these things. Uh, but I'd like to remind that um, because March is just finished, that a lot of things, if you really want to have a closure, this is really the time that put as a closure. And April is also is a sign of the, uh, the starting of spring. So actually, uh, it's not only about Easter, you know, rem remember the story about Easter is the, the Easter eggs, right? And then the, the, the eggs is, you know, there's a crack there and then the little chick is, you know, coming out and the you know, little bunny is coming out, running on the grassland. Why is that? It's all about the signs of the new life, of everything is growing in the nature. So I'm um, trying to make use of time. I understand that maybe the weather is a bit, um, you know, annoying because everything is humid and, um, you know, when you try to, you know, lie down on the grassland, it just makes you all wet. Yeah, I understand that. But um, remember, everything is part of the nature and uh, we have to spend the love and appreciate the nature more and more because without the water, without the humidity, humidity, then, you know, how can the grass and the plants grow and, you know, have all these flower blossoming during the springtime? So so it is really the time that we're looking forward to the new direction. Uh, some of the thing may not be really new direction, but I'm sure that it's something is to ensure that something you want to do it in your life. Uh, if you really set up as a kind of your goal in your life, then you know all, um, April is really the time that you have to start your project. And uh, some of you have started your project already. Then I really wish that you know your project is really growing blossom since like the spring. Here that I draw the three cards uh, for the April this time, and I've combined the two decks of cards together. Uh, one deck is uh, messages from angels, and the other deck of cards, which is also from the ritual, is life purposes. Um, life purposes is really, really popular this year, and um, you know I I'm not surprised again because the year of 2014, uh, a lot of people are going, you know, are going through a lot of changes no matter is something that you know that that is the way I want to do it but maybe in the past that you may not have enough courage or maybe in the past that you're not sure or sometimes the people you know we have to really push it at the corner then you said oh yes 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 okay I take it I have to make a change now um, you know typical example is just like you know when you keep on working too hard for your work and sacrifice too much about the others maybe you have Health suffer, then you know when you in the when you really add the turning point, then you realize that okay, it's time for me to have a change. Remember, loving yourself and self care is first and the most important thing in our life. If we don't know how to look after ourselves, you know, it's difficult for you know for people to really you know spread the love to the others. Okay. So here is the first card regarding to the beginning of April here. That is the card of um, Archangel Gabriel. So um, as we know that Archangel Gabriel is very famous uh, for the you know for helping people to understand what is their life purpose. So um, it's nothing called instant coming up with the next card is about the life purpose card here. So um, Archangel Michael is helping you to figure it out. You know, sometimes when you are just about to developing, you know, all these uh, new trends or your um, 
um, you know, just like when you just plant a seed um, in the first week, then you still be self doubt and you're still trying to figure out is it true, is it right, and is it um, going through the right direction. So that is something here that Gabriel he is trying to reassure with you that yes, that is your life purpose, and go ahead. Just you know, you, I think in the beginning of the month that you. Here is telling me that you may need a bit of encouragement and strengthen that you are really on the right track. Um, maybe you still have a lot of self doubt in the very beginning. Maybe you still have a lot of uh, obstacles or self doubt. But remember, um, you know, you are a spiritual being and you always receive the lessons which the God or the angels believe that you are capable to do it. So welcome for all the lessons or the tasks or difficulties. You know, they all, be, you know, it really depends on how you see the, the stone in front of you. It's really blocking your way or is a stone for you to stepping upward, moving upward. So um, instead of, you know, just trying to avoid or escape from that, uh, maybe Maybe you have to really face it. Maybe in the past you didn't deal with that. You didn't really face a life happiness because you don't want to handle difficulties. But now here, uh, Gabriel really want to confirm with you that he is the way of doing so. And it's time. And I want to guarantee you that you are stronger than the past. So you are strong enough to really face it and handle you know, everything in front of you. Then you are able to step forward and have a big development man there. Um, as I said, um, the second card come up here is the middle of the month here, the card of family from life purpose here. Uh, if you're the healer, if you are doing the therapy, if you're in a helping professional, I would say uh, the card is a hint to telling me that two sides of the stories. One side of the story is, you know, a lot of issues, a lot of um, your clients may come with the issues with, you know, with them. It's not just only one particular issue. It's always, you know, just like um, a spider web, you know, it's all connecting to other things and um, you know if, if you're in a professional that you know you know satire model and a lot of family approach you know it, um, you know um, a lot of uh, you know graph that you can draw and tend to really find out your family history your family tree to it's time for you to really reveal and look at it you know really fine-tune and um, you know all the details there because you may surprise that you find out a lot of things that you didn't aware in the past uh, what is really here is um, a lot of people that they may have a shame about their family background or their own history, but I want to guarantee you after you've done all this, you know, really family tree and look into the details of your family background, you may be proud of that. Um, remember, no one is perfect, so you don't, have to, you don't have to feel shame about, you know, your own background or where do you come from. You just be proud of it. And uh, you can really realize there's a lot of things that's happening in the past. And there's something that you're really sure to say to yourself and determined to say, nope, that's it. I don't want to repeat the pattern. And that is the new life I want to have. So remember, when you sing all this kind of uh, affirmation sentence, make it positive and make it clear to just simply say, what do you want in your new life after you reveal your own past history? So you can find it, although in the past or in you know, every, everyone's family, I know there's a lot of um, you know, history and a lot of uh, story behind that. But remember, you are the one well educated, you are the one who have all the knowledge and the wisdom. So you are the one to put a full stop, comma, or any kind of a sign there to tell you what the life that you really want. And, you know, um, and that is the, really your turning point to say, okay, that is the thing I wanted now. And thank you for the lesson from the past. Remember, thank you for the family that I give you as big, big, big lessons. Um, and all this is telling you, um, it's all about unconditional love again. Um, you may criticize saying that, no, no, my family is this and that, like that way. So how could that be love? Remember. At the end, there's a lot of love, unconditional love there. Uh, if, if you do not aware of that, maybe still you know, take a bit of time to look into. And remember, you still have to look forward to your life. Then what do you want? Remember, if you disagree with your past history, if you disagree with your family, then tell you yourself, what do you want in your life? And do it. Right? Doing just, you know, sitting here and then complain that I want to go out, I want to go out, you know, it's no point in just sitting here. So take action is the most important thing here. 
and uh, what can we feel the card here you can see um, you know uh, the family card here is not just a standstill static motion picture it's really it's a picture that's full of a lot of activities is moving and a lot of things is really taking action so if you want to give a hug or if you want to kiss the person just do it you know just do it not just sitting here saying you know oh yeah I love you I care about you right so uh, there's something and remember everything could um, really communicate with your family members really communicate with the people surrounding you as a close member of yours so keep a good uh, and healthy communication because all of you can bond together and really form a strong energy together remember teamwork is always more benefit and more powerful than just individual work so if you like worker then I really recommend you to join all the other light workers together and it is a time to really join the light together it's not about your own individual work and it's not about your own jealousy or your own worrying or fear um, and it's not your own self ego or your own, um, your own um, successful story so it's all about you know we all send the glory to the girl to the go to the earth and we as a light worker we ha it is the time for us to really join together do something together as a whole family and what is the purpose of our light work it's all about doing the good thing and the goodwill for the best you know for the world here so it is really the time to join the hands together and of course personally me either here that I would like to invite you all to join the hands together okay um, now here is come to um, the card that we got into the end of the month. Uh, when we towards to the end of the month here, that you can see a really gentle card is coming through here. Uh, I understand in the beginning you're trying to figure out, you know, all this and that, and uh, what is my life purpose, and if this is my life purpose, why that is so difficult, and you have a lot of questions, you know, like, you know, maybe is maybe is it easier for me to just you know join the other people or just you know go back to the old lifestyle? Yes, absolutely. Yes, I would tell you. Yes, it's so much easier if you join the you know the past you know the past experience that you used to have. But remember, there must be reason for you to have the click. Right, the the you know the light bulb thing. That is something that is you know to really click you that you know maybe that is something is not belong to you. Um, so you may have a kind of like a tiring of um, you know having a new habit or tired of uh, creating use your energy to create a new habit to understand the new lifestyle. Yeah, it may be a bit. Um, you know, um, uh, tiring, you know, <laughs> when you try to move the stone, you know, out of your way, instead of, you know, claim out of that, you know, it's all about the new habit, the new experience for you. Um, here's the card, it's telling you, it's time to love yourself, mm -hmm. um, be nice, and, uh, you know, when you take excellent care of yourself, everybody benefits. So look at here, the more you push the thing happened, then, you know, it, it, Maybe you're pushing yourself too hard and also maybe you're pushing the other people too much as well. Remember your own experience. You need to have a lot of courage to move forward and same as the others. The other people may also need a lot of courage. And remember when you experience something like, you know, the people surrounding you, criticizing you, and they will have the similar experience as yours. So be understandable. So we have to understand, you know, they also going through some kind of uh, changing and turning and they also going through a lot of self-doubt as well. So what we are doing here as a light worker, we are just here to try to be with them, ensure them that yes, you're on the right track and, you know, open our arm to just let you to come, you know, closer wherever you want. If you want to have a kind of, um, you know, um, rest, come here. If you want to, you know, understand more, yes, come here. We welcome you. So when you look after yourself, instead of like, wow, pushing, 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 right? So it's quite scary sometimes, right? So um, here, take excellent care. Uh, a lot of people asking me, you know, oh, Ida, why you always, you know, go to have afternoon tea? I said, yeah, because I love myself. <laughs> so... The more I look after myself and I feel my life is much easier and you just, you know, welcome and talk with me and I think that is a way to make everything easier and um, nice. Remember, when our life path is following the light, everything is easier. 
But at the same time, it takes a lot of our courage to really put a full stop to the old experience. All right. Um, why we thought the old experience is easier than the new experience is just simply because of our learning habits. It's you know it's just purely about you know our psychological um, you know issues there. So if we are able to learn new experience and become a habit, we are able to unlearn it. And we're able to create a new a learn um, a habit for your life, for your coming life. And remember to change your new habit to some experience that you really want, and that is your rest of your life. That's something that you really want to live in the truth, to live in the real reality. That's what the life that you want. It's not saying that oh, I have to wear the mask in the reality. No, no, no. All these are the illusion. It's just you know the old habits. Um, the year of 2014 is coming to the April, so a lot of thing is coming up. A lot of truth, a lot of true story is also, um, you know, coming out. So um, there's nothing to hide and there's nothing to um, avoid. We have to, you know, hold our heart strong here, the right in the middle here, and be brave. And you know, march forward, face it, and embrace it. You know, nothing is you know really cold, ugly, or her, you know, horrible or terrifying. Um, when you have this kind of feeling, breathe, breathe in, and you found it. You are stronger than before, and that is what we talk about: growing and development. And you notice that you know in the month of April that have a lot of changes in your life, and there's a lot of developments in your、um, different aspect in your life regarding to your relationship, regarding to your career, regarding to your health as well. So、um, be with me and、um, send messages, and at the same time, I send you so much love here. And remember, I want to say that is you are. Brilliant. Okay, so brave to march forward, and the 2014 is yours. Okay, take good care, and see you next month.